Throughout the history of mankind, three factions have been waging a secret battle for control of the universe. The Ariashki, the mystic users of the Orient, the Wisdom, the Western Society of Sorcery, and the Dark Lore, the descendants of an ancient race. The conflict between these three has found its way into the modern age of great reform, also known as the Aquarian Age. Now, the EGO, an organization of psychics, are about to enter into the war. In addition, other individuals known as mind breakers, who can control others and awaken their powers, are also joining in the fight. Meanwhile, the Eraser alien fleet attacks Earth and the four factions band together to drive them away. But before they're able to recover, they're assaulted by a new enemy. It is the Polestar Empire. They are invaders from another dimension of Earth, one with a different history from ours. Now, only the four factions with the help of the Mindbreakers can stop their global invasion. The chaotic age which will determine the future, the Aquarian Age, has just begun. In the multiplayer trading card game Aquarian Age Saga 2, each player becomes a mind breaker and defeats their opponent by controlling characters with different abilities. This world was created by those who were fascinated by and drawn to the Aquarian Age, and its network has continued to expand all over Japan. Today, two girls have stepped foot into the mansion of the Aquarian Age. It appears they have been somehow bewitched by its magical power. Let me introduce today's players. Meet Kanako Kondo, age 20. She fought for the difficult role of Alexandrite, a noble aristocrat, in the first round of Gamer's Guardian Fairies auditions and got the part. She is a talented new voice actress. And meet Yuka Iguchi, age 14. She was a runner-up, also in the first round of Gamer's Guardian Fairies auditions, and was later given the role of Sapphire, the Guardian Fairy for the Akihabara Store No. 2. We look forward to her growth as a voice actress. 
Even though they are beginners, these two players burn bright with a blazing fighting spirit. What kind of duel will they end up having? The battle has only just begun. The number of cards in your deck can be anywhere between 40 and 60. However, each player can only have up to four of the same card in his or her deck. After choosing who will go first, draw seven cards from the top of the deck, which you will use to play in your hand. This completes the preparation portion. In Aquarian Age Saga 2, one player will take a turn after another player. Each turn has a draw phase, the faction phase, the main phase, the power card phase, and the discard phase. When these five phases are over, it becomes the other player's turn. The game progresses by having each player play their turn alternately until in the end, one player is the victor. In Aquarian Age, all of the following conditions result in a losing game. 1. When you have 10 cards in your damage card area. 2. When you have to draw a card and you don't have any more cards left in your deck area. And 3. When you have no more cards left in the deck area at the end of your turn. If any of these happen, then you lose. Before we start playing the game, let me briefly explain what the game space is. In Aquarian Age, each player has their own game space. Each game space has six areas, the faction area, control area, damage area, deck area, discard area, and the project card and fast card area. The control area is where you place the characters that have joined your team. The characters in this area are able to attack your opponent and they can also use their special abilities. The faction area is where you place the characters that have not joined your team. They can be placed in five separate sections, depending on their faction. The damage area is where you tally up how much damage you have received. Place your deck in the deck area facing downwards. The discard area is where you put cards that you have already used, cards removed from the play area, and cards discarded from your hand. Last but not least, the project card and fast card area is the area where a player temporarily places a single-use card. The faction area and control area combined together is what is known as the territory, and then the territories of both of the players is referred to as the field.
キャラクターカードをセットしますエゴダークロアカードパワーカードをセットします。セットすることができます。The number of power cards you can set on each character is determined by the character's mental strength. Discard phase. Count the number of cards in your hand during the discard phase. If there are more than eight cards in your hand, keep discarding cards until you only have seven cards left. It's Kana's turn. Kana's ダメージ判定を行います1枚キャラクターカードだったのでそのまま勢力エリアの方に行きます2枚目引きますパーマネントカードだったのでダメージ1受けたことになりました During the faction phase if a character has a mark with a downward triangle like this that character will attack the player If you decide not to guard your characters, you receive a damage equal to the character's attack power and draw that number of cards from your deck. When you're drawing the cards, if the card is a character card, you move it to the faction area. Otherwise, all other cards are damage cards. Main phase に移ります。ブレークカードをセットさせます。このカードをブレークさせます。1ファクター1コストなので、1ファクター1コスト支払います。で、次にこのキャラクターをブレイクさせますブレイクしたキャラクターは支配エリアに移動させます A break card can be used whenever you want to power up your characters and give them a new ability To use the break card, place the card on top of the character that has the same classification icon When this is done, the old character's ability disappears and it is replaced by the ability shown on the newest break card. Several break cards can be placed on top of a character. No matter how many cards are there, the pile is considered a single character, and the top card's ability is the one used. In order to set a break card, you must pay the same number of power cards as the cost listed on the break card. A character card that is breaked is moved to the control area immediately. Hi, power card phase. Let's go. Key and hand, so power card. Don't use the character card. Set it. Then the charge is one, one. So from the deck, I'm going to move two more power cards. パワーカードフェーズ終了です精神力を満たしているハーバリストを支配エリアに移しますミスカードフェーズで123ないのでターン終了ですどうぞはいドローフェーズで1枚ドローします勢力フェーズは何もないのでメインフェーズに移りますじゃあこのキャラクターで攻撃しますコストを1枚支払ってイオーダーフェーズは1枚ドローで1枚ドローです。ここはいいですね。
And if a guard is declared, a battle then takes place between the attacking character and the guarding character. Their attack power and defense power are simultaneously pitted against each other. As a result, a character that has less defense power than the opponent's attack power is discarded. In this case, the attack powers are 2 and 3. The defense powers are both 3. So the character with the attack power of 2 is discarded. When a player is attacked and chooses not to guard, the player receives the damage directly. The damage that is received is equal to the character's attack power. It is now Yuka's turn. パワーカードフェーズに移ります。チャージが1、チャージが2、チャージが3個あるので、デッキを切ってから3枚取ります。3枚取ってパワーカードをセットします。手札から2枚取ってこっちにパワーカードをセットします。パワーカードフェーズ
If it, the effect can be used when the same number of power cards as the cost listed is paid. Kana is in danger. Does this mean that Yuka will win? Kana fights back by attacking. Yuka chooses to guard. But a battle will now take place. Kana's character has a mental attack power, which means it has the ability to discard the same number of power cards from the guarding character. Unfortunately for Yuka, her character does not have any power cards, so Yuka's character will be discarded. It seems that Kana has won the duel by outwitting Yuka. We asked the two girls what they thought of Aquarian Age after playing the game. え、by shaking hands, they honor each other's good battle. That is the true way of those of the Aquarian Age. That concludes the rules for playing the multiplayer trading card game Aquarian Age Saga 2. The characters are the player's power, and the players duel by taking characters away from each other. It is an imaginative new rule that opens the gate to an infinite number of strategies. Though easy to start playing, it provides for deep gameplay. Now that you know how to play, you too should start playing Aquarian Age Saga 2. Nyo, nyo, nyo.